costume curators in the digital age. Bridging art and popular culture, costume exhibits have enabled museums to attract media attention and new audiences. Such exhibits are created and overseen by costume curators. The term costume curators refers to professionals who oversee the acquisition, maintenance, and display of clothing collections at museums. Which choice most effectively combines the sentences at the underlying portion? So I'm saying such exhibits are created and overseen by costume curators. And then I'm saying professionals who oversee the acquisition, maintenance, and display of clothing collections. So in fact, I can just put a comma after curators, and I don't need to say any of this. Because if I put a comma and say professionals who oversee and so on, then I'm describing the curator. So option D is concise. Now, strictly speaking, they are. There's no requirement for strictly speaking. I'm just providing a definition of what they do. That is to say costume curators. This is also redundant. And these are is also redundant. I can just put a comma and start with professionals. Costume curators must have a deep knowledge of their collections and must study the materials, construction, and historical significance of the pieces. Also, they must share this knowledge with the public in accessible and entertaining ways. In recent years, some curators have used new technologies such as modeling software and digital displays to study and exhibit their collections. This has allowed curators to bring costumes to life in ways that were previously and formally impossible. So here again, previously and formally, they mean the same thing. So this is redundant. So just saying previously conveys the idea. So B is good. At one point previously, at one point is redundant because when I say previously, I mean that it happened at some point in the past and formally and in the past is redundant, so B. Okay, question 36, I think, is on the next page. One of the first costume exhibits to benefit from these technological developments was the 2014 Charles James Beyond Fashion Show at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. So one of the first costume exhibits to benefit from, right? So that sounds correct, to benefit from uh, option A, not in and not off of, and you can't delete it because you need that preposition. So this is idiomatic where you need to figure out the correct preposition. So to benefit from the new technologies. Early in their preparations, Met curators Harold Koda and Jan Glare Reader drew on new technologies to reach people who could not visit the exhibit in person. James, one of the most respected clothing designers of the 20th century created sculptural dresses using many layers of unconventional materials. The curators used x-rays and computer models to study the layers of mesh, feathers, cotton, and horsehair that makes up James's clover leaf gown, which would be one of the centerpieces of their show. Okay, so here, which choice best sets up the discussion of Koda and Reader's work that follows in the paragraph? So here I'm describing how they used x-rays and computer models to study the layers of mesh, etc., that made up the gown, this gown that James had made. So the fact that they were trying to reach people who, who could not visit the exhibit in person, that's not relevant because that's not how technology is being used in this paragraph push the boundaries of the creative display of costumes? Um, no, this is not about the display of costumes. This is about the material of the costume. So it's not B. Achieve a better understanding of James's clothing. Yeah, so this is a good answer because it directly relates with how they used technology to study the layers of the clothing. Adapt the exhibition space to the digital age. So this again is not relevant here because the use of technology is for a specific purpose, so C. Now the curators used x-rays and computer models to study the layers. So this is the subject layers that make up, right? Because layers is plural. 
So my verb should also be plural. Layers that make up James's gown. So makes is singular, so that's not correct. And will make is the future tense, so that doesn't make sense because the gown was already ready. And would make is hypothetical, so that also doesn't make sense. So B. Having come to a fuller understanding of James's work, how to present it in the best way to museum visitors was what the curators had to determine. Okay, so this is a modifier question because when we say having come to a fuller understanding of James's work, we have to start the next part with the subject that came to a fuller understanding, right? And that was the curators. So my next part cannot start with how to present or museum visitors or it had to be presented. It has to be the curators. Having come to a fuller understanding of his work, the curators had to determine the best way to present it to museum visitors. James's dresses presented the curators with one of their most common professional challenges, marketing the exhibit to increase museum admissions. Clothing in museums would quickly fall apart if it were handled frequently, but traditional displays of costumes on mannequins make it difficult for visitors to see how a piece is constructed. Koda and Rita solved this dilemma by designing computer animations that showed visitors the separate pieces that make up dresses, such as the clover leaf gown, the way these pieces fit together and the way the finished dresses fit when they are worn. So which choice best introduces the discussion that follows? So here I'm talking about the issues with display, right? So this is when display is being discussed. So marketing the exhibit to increase museum admissions, that's not the point of this paragraph, so not A. Keeping the exhibit in line with the designer's original vision, no, so that again is not something in doubt here. Securing enough funding to maintain the clothing, no, funding is not being discussed here. Displaying fragile pieces to the public, so that's a good answer because we are talking about how these pieces can quickly fall apart if they are handled frequently, so that fragility is captured in D. Traditional displays of costumes on mannequins make it difficult for visitors to see how a piece is constructed. So the way it's written is good, so I like A. See how is a piece constructed? No, the placement of is is wrong. It should come after piece, so not B. And I can't have a colon in the middle of the sentence and even the question mark is wrong, so not C. And again, this comma is not required and this question mark is wrong. So the best answer is A. By doing so, the curators could give museum goers a sense of their own excitement at being able to see inside James's designs. At this point, the writer is considering adding the following sentence. Also featured in the show was James's taxi wrap dress, which stands in contrast to the clover leaf gown due to its simple design and the ease with which it can be put on. Should the writer make this addition here? I don't think that's a good fit to this paragraph because in this paragraph, we are talking about the fragility of certain dresses, for example, the clover leaf gown and what Koda and Reader did to make sure that those dresses could be appreciated by museum goers. So talking about another dress here and to contrast it with the clover leaf is not relevant. Uh, no, because it would be better placed elsewhere in the passage. No, because it is not related to the paragraph's focus on the curator's methods. So D is the better answer. It is not relevant to the focus that the paragraph has on how the curators displayed the dresses. According to Valerie Steele, chief curator of the museum at the Fashion Institute of Technology, a costume curator's job is to tell the story of the meaning of the clothes. Now here, I need to decide the punctuation. And if I begin a direct quotation, for example, if I had said, Valerie Steele said, comma, and then I give the entire quotation, then this comma makes sense. But here I'm selectively quoting from what Valerie said, and I'm putting that quotation as part of my sentence. 
So the comma after two is not needed. So A is wrong. The semicolon is incorrect because it has to be placed between two independent sentences and that's not what's happening here. And a comma after job is wrong because a comma does not come between the subject and the verb. So just straightforward job is two without any punctuation. Because as I said, the quotation is used partly within the larger sentence. New technologies have allowed costume curators to tell their stories in more compelling ways. And other exhibit teams and the Met would do well to imitate the costume curator's approach. The writer wants a conclusion that supports the main discussion of the passage, which choice best accomplishes this goal. So the way it's written is not a good way to end it because I want to talk about how the use of these technologies um, helps curators provide a better experience to museum goers. So the fact that other exhibit teams should imitate that doesn't really convey that. But given the rapid evolution of technology in the 21st century, the use of digital technologies in costume curatorship has hardly reached its apex. So again, that's not the point. Um, I mean, sure, they have not reached its apex, but here I'm trying to kind of appreciate whatever has been done so far. Making clothing exhibitions such as Charles James Beyond Fashion some of the most popular and exciting museum shows in recent memory. So this is a good answer because it kind of connects with the focus of the passage, which is Charles James's uh, exhibition. And it also says, you know, that this was exciting because of the use of all these new technologies. So that fits. And they have opened up the possibilities for showcasing Charles James's unique vision through other artistic media. Okay, so this kind of would make sense in a passage on Charles James, right? Not in a passage on the use of new technologies in curatorship, because this brings the focus on Charles James in particular. So not a good answer, C is better. Okay, let's grade this. Thirty-four. D B A C B. D B A C B. And thirty-nine. C D A D D C. C D A D D C. Okay, great. So we got all correct. 